To do a dead launch, you're aiming to snap both lines as hard and as quickly as possible, just to bounce the kite off the floor. This one drives itself straight down in an inverted fade. The recovery characteristics need tuning. The nose needs to be flatter. This one goes up backwards. The controls are the normal way around in this position. And then obviously you do the exit like before. Standard forwards and backwards, nose up, nose away. You've also got another adjustment on the, on the turbo leg that allows you to change the characteristics of the kite in a fade. Watch how the kite spin changes as my timing goes out. You've got to hit it flat or it'll recover. So we are adjusting the in haul this way and the out haul this way between the two marks, you can get a more solid or a less solid fade depending on what you want to do. To get more solid fades, move it outwards to the mark and then fold the bridge back down to the bottom. If you want to make it spin more during normal flight, you should slide this knot towards the centre of the kite. This adjusts the distance up and down the leading edge of this bit. The further apart these lines are, the easier it will be to fly backwards this way of the window. is jerked causing the kite to go flat. Pop the same line again to do a 540, it's called a slot machine. You're using the side slide as the unstable bit to go flat, unlike a stranger which goes flat forwards and backwards. Five forties will work from any flat orientation. This one's at an angle high up, it kind of cascades spinning down. If you manage to get into this position on the ground with the wingtip flat away from you, try and coax it down by pulling the line that's closest to the ground and then popping the one that's up. Should go into a mad spin. So the shorter this line here, the more this tip changes plane and this wing surface rotates inwards. That way you can set the glide ratio when it's doing three-dimensional flying. So the amount that it glides towards you or tucks in from the edge of the window directly relates to how short or how long these two tension lines are. This distance here affects the amount of lift the nose has in a fade and also the amount the nose tucks under at the edge of the window to induce 3D flying. You can make it so it's solid on the edge of the window by having a flat nose down to about four or five. So you should be looking for one measurement from here to here and another measurement of the depth of the nose. You should fill that in in your chart and uh, write down what you think. That way you'll find the best settings for you. 
Just jab the lines and let the wind take it up. Remember, you're looking for specific angles of the kite to do different moves. You should be looking for when the pull is exerted and what angle the kite is at. After all, there's only a few ways to pull string, but there's unlimited kite positions. Remember, it will definitely take a couple of days to learn how to fly. Don't give up, it's worth it. Ring, man.